Country, and today, per your request, um, uh, we are making apple pie in the Dutch oven. And if you look back two videos ago, I did uh, a poll, basically, and asked you what you wanted to see next. And by the time I had to make a decision, I think there was 600 or so views, the chicken was ahead. And by the time I got that chicken started, the pie started winning. And so it ended up so far, the pie is by popular demand. So we're gonna make apple pie in the Dutch oven outside. It's gonna be super easy. Now, I will say I did not get my um, really large Dutch oven out that I could fit a regular size pie in. And my husband and I, this is a perfect size for us. It's, it's enough for two evenings. I can have a little sliver. I'm happy with a bite. Um, and he can have pie for a couple evenings and we don't have a big pie sitting around. So I'm gonna make two of these, one for us and one for work. But this one's gonna go in the Dutch oven because it'll fit right in and you can get it back out. And uh, yeah, that's how you use this. And you'll wanna use a trivet um, as well. So what I have, pie crust is easy. And I've got my homemade apple pie filling. So look in the i card above because I'll have the video on how to do this. Super easy. I have a ton of it. <laughs> In my bowl, and I've, I've shown you pie crust before, in my bowl I have two and a half cups of flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a third of a cup of lard. And I use lard um, most often. Sometimes I just use butter, but I feel like the combination of fat, and these are both cold. I had put the lard in the freezer, so it's nice and cold. I've got ice water sitting here. And I've got uh, salt. Normally I don't measure, but I'll, I'll measure for you guys. I only want uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Um, and then when I do a sweet pie, if this was savory, I'd stop right here and it'd be a full teaspoon. This is um, a sweet pie, so I want some sugar in the crust. What? Yes, it makes it delicious. So we're gonna put <laughs> about a tablespoon and a half. Not a big deal. And then you get your pastry cutter. Get it all cut in to the works here. And I keep a knife handy to help me out. My grandmother used to do this with two butter knives, just cutting the shortening in and she could make the best pot pie on the planet. Oh my gosh. All I wanted to do was be just like her. <laughs> okay. Once you feel like you've got um, your shortening and butter worked in, go ahead and start putting in your ice water. Now, I get it where I've got pretty good sized chunks of fat. Those pieces of fat in the dough, when it cooks, because you cook a pie at a pretty high temperature, when that cooks, it puffs the dough up and gives you flaky crust. It's fantastic. And then two, another trick that I have is at this point, if I wasn't ready to put my pie together, at this point, I could put this mixture in the refrigerator and let it stay, stay cold. But we're not going to do that. And we are going to start adding our water. Ice water, and I don't measure, I just add until I get a, a dough that I can work with. And I like this low-sided bowl. Um, it's usually the bowl that I make biscuit dough in as well. I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I can make those kind of things easier. Now when it starts coming together, that's when I get in here with my hands and get messy because you can form that dough ball. And you can do this in a, a processor if you want, but my feeling on that is, um, you end up heating up the dough too much. Those processors heat things up. And this is perfect, oh my gosh. I can see big chunks of butter and lard and it's just, it's gonna be delicious. 
But I am gonna cover this right now. I'm gonna cover this, put this back in the refrigerator, let it get nice and cold again, and then we'll be ready to roll out our dough. So I can clean up my mess and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so we're back and we're ready to go ahead with the pie crust. And it's a pretty soft dough. Um, I like it pretty soft. I sprinkle it down so I can manage it. Um, and I'm gonna need four for this. So four, and I'm just taking my bench knife and cutting about four equal pieces. Um, you want the bigger of the pieces to be your bottom crust. So let's go ahead and pop that back in the bowl so I have room. And I like to get it into a disc and really make a good mess. Get some flour on my rolling pin. Get it rolled out. It doesn't have to be perfect. How easy is this? This is why I can, because I can make a pie at the drop of a hat. It takes me 10 minutes, and uh, this recipe for the pie crust cost me 50 cents. I think the cheapest I've seen store-bought pie crust, which I don't think is near as good, is $2 um, for a generic pie crust. So then I like to take that and roll that up on my, um, rolling pin just so I can transfer it into the pie plate easier. Hopefully it's not going to stick to itself. And get my little pie plate and unroll it. Oh cute. Look at how cute it is. <laughs> and then get it down in there. These I love these little pie dishes because I can make individual pot pies in them. Mm. If I didn't make this pie or pastry dough sweet, we could have had pot pie tonight, but there we go. So now my pie <laughs> is ready. Let's um, get the other crust rolled out so we can uh, get the, put the top on. And again, I want to just shape it into a little disc. Get plenty of flour down. And roll it out. Oh my gosh. I got to get my coal started. So get your coal started. If you use a chimney to start your coals, you know, I mean, if you're using a fire pit and you've got wood, obviously it's going to take longer. You should get that stuff started early. But if you're using uh, charcoal briquettes like I am, you want to get your coals started about 10 to 15 minutes before you're ready to put this on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I want to make sure this is, yep. I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this pie back in the refrigerator after I get it put together here so it can chill again. So it goes into a hot, hot Dutch oven. Ooh, good suction. And that was all the way to the top. Now the, all the apples sunk down and I've got an inch of headspace. <laughs> That's funny. And this pie filling is Bring delicious. My little cute little pie. And you'd be surprised how much filling these guys take. They take a lot. And I want a big, lofty pie here. Yep, that's about perfect. Almost a full quart. There's enough here for a, a little side dish. You know, sometimes you have a little hot side dish of apples. And I do want to add some more butter. Little pats of butter here on top. One more ought to do it. And we're in the pie business. And all the spices are in here. So if you guys don't know how to make apple pie filling, that recipe is perfect. Okay, and I'm just going to bring my top right on over here. And I fold 
the top under the bottom and just like that to seal these edges because you don't want that pie filling to leak out. Okay, my pie looks beautiful. I'm excited. I'm just gonna take and cut some vent holes so the steam can release and there you go. Sprinkle, a little bit of sugar, but what do you need to stick that with? Egg wash. Okay, so just uh, slightly beat up an egg. You're gonna need a whole, and these are relatively small eggs, but you're not gonna use the whole thing. What I usually do is whatever is left will go on somebody's kibble tonight. I love it. All right, once I get it all um, covered with the egg wash, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle with a little bit of sugar. I mean, if you're going big, go home. I mean, if you're, if you're, <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Our pie's going in the refrigerator until the Dutch oven is ready, and then I'll take you out okay, there. Okay, guys. So <laughs> I've got my coals, and I put, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. 14 down on the bottom and about 18 on the top lid. I've got my pie ready and in the Dutch oven over here, I have my trivet. And you'll see the link to that in the description box below. I'm gonna put that down so it has a buffer between this, even though this is oven safe dish. And then I want a piece of folded parchment about the width of that so if it does bubble over, we don't have a mess and I'll be able to lift it out easy. So we go ahead with that, get our pie in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gonna be wonderful. And you get that right on top of your coals there. Make sure, and because this Dutch oven is higher, it takes more coals than the lower one. And now I need to get my lid lifter, lift my lid up. And set it on top. All ready to go. And this should create about a 400 degree oven. Um, it's going to take anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes. And trust me when I tell you, when you smell pie, mm, I will check it in a half hour. If it looks like it's becoming too brown on top, I can either remove coals or you can set another piece of parchment on there, just like you would in your oven in the house. So. Guys, I'm excited. And just in case you were wondering, the other pie is in the oven in the house um, with cherry pie filling. And those one and a half pint jars are perfect size for these um, pie dishes. So I'll get these measured up and make sure that I know the exact measurement and um, put a link if I can find some. I'll put a link in the about section below because I want two more of these. I think these would be great for the holidays to have uh, a bunch of different pies and not have to have big, huge pies left over. And they'd be a great hostess gift or Christmas gift for your neighbor and they can have a cute pie dish to boot. All right, guys, I just gave away my secrets. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm so excited. You guys are gonna love this. Pie in the Dutch oven is amazing. Okay, guys, the mic is off, but I wanted to give you a close-up of what this looks like. I can smell apple pie, and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna take my lid off, and we'll set this aside. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I don't know if you can hear the sizzle, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's perfectly done. Zoom you in. Look at that. Who doesn't want a bite of that? Now that's going to be cooling until after dinner. It's going to be perfect. And the nice thing is, is we can lift this out of here without burning ourselves with the parchment. And it did leak out a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to lift this out take it in the house and let it cool down and uh, I'll have to bring you in for a taste test. I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious though. Look at that guys, apple pie in the Dutch oven. How easy is that? And I didn't have to heat up my oven. Yum. Okay guys, so here's my pie. And it's had a chance to cool, it's beautiful. 
a, a little bit, you know, bubbled over, but that's, I mean, any fruit pie, you're gonna have that. I don't even mind. And we've already eaten dinner. I had beautiful chicken Parmesan. If you guys wanna see a chicken Parmesan recipe, let me know because I have a fantastic one. Your chicken will never be dry. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this little pie. I love it. And these are six inch, this is a six inch pie shell or pie plate. I'm gonna have a link in the description box. And actually I've decided, and don't tell anybody, I've decided there's some people that are gonna get pie for Christmas. I can make this little mini pie and they can keep the pie shell. I think it'd be good for the neighbors. Shh. Again, do not tell anybody. And of course that pie shell puffs up and your filling sinks down. It rises and expands just like it does in the jar and then it sinks down. And so I'm gonna try to pick the prettiest little piece here. And oh my goodness, here we go. Here's my plate. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, look. Oh, yes. I'm telling you right now, this is delicious looking. And okay, I'm going to right now say that for a pie, next time I do a pie, sorry about that noise, but next time I do a pie, I want the bottom to be closer to the coals. I was worried about it and because one time I did a pie and the bottom got too well done and too brown and I don't I don't want that to happen but this time I don't think it it could have used a little bit more browning on the bottom so mm, yum let's just give it a taste a little and these apples still have a bite so mm. Who doesn't love that? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh, that is the best apple pie. I just have to say, <laughs> it's so delicious and I know that your family will love it. So I hope that you try this in your Dutch oven. Adjust your coals so you can get everything you want to work perfectly and I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe because you guys, this is fantastic. And we'll see you next time. All right, go check the links below and you can be Dutch Oven cooking tomorrow.